Hi guys, the finished project is already waiting for you to watch. It's quite dynamic with a great storyline. Everything is here, the comedy, the action, uh, romance, passion, thriller, uh, the relationship of the main characters I will call as from enemies to lovers or uh, how to deceive your object of sympathy, how to fool or at least Mr. and Mr. Lua because such kind of relationship is suitable to this title. This project is rather big, so take some snakes with you and enjoy. Mr. Luo, Mr. Luo. Our cargo ship was empty. Explain. Mr. Luo, please have a look. Ruan Zheng. It's him again. This isn't entirely your fault, but you still need to be punished. Go to see Old Song yourself. Investigate what Chen Ting has been doing lately. Understood. Mr. Luo, Al will be there soon. I see. Send me to the White Nest. Ping City is the hub for linking the mainland to overseas lands. Transportation to and from is convenient, and its economy is flourishing. Ping City has Huana Technologies Luoyu. The old nobility's western clan ruled by He Yonggui, and Jinting Investments Wanjiang. These three powers struggle for control, and mutually balance each other out. Of the three, Wanjiang is the most mysterious. No one knows his origins or his appearance. He's ruthless yet is unknown to all. This battle between the three forces, Wan Zheng was the first to break that balance. And has targeted Luo Yu time and time again, causing grievances to fester into animosity. Both sides want to grind the other's bones into dust. Mr. Luo, we've arrived at the White Nest. It's safe here. Enjoy yourself. You are so nice. Would Mr. Luo like to have a look at the new little masters who have arrived here? They're all very clean. No need this time. Let go of me. No. Won't go. You're already here. Why are you still pretending to be some chaste martyr boy? Sir. Please save me. Can you stand? I can. Thank you. Has the White Nest been lacking people lately? Mr. Luo, I'm terribly sorry. I'll go ask. Ilyong, what's going on? His name is Su Jiawen, a Chinese department second year university student. His mother has acquired debts from gambling, so he's come to the White Nest to pay back his mother's debts. When, when I came here, I didn't know, my mom said, it would just be working at a private club as a server. Su Jiawen? Yes. Have you ever dated before? I haven't. Have you done it before? I haven't. Jiawen, how about this, you can pick. Your first choice is to come with me, your second choice is, to go with him. If I go with you? Come with me, and only I will do you. Go with him, and who knows how many people will do it. I'll go with you. We'll do whatever Mr. Luo says. Come with me. Presidential suite. Do you know how to do it? Yes. Then go clean yourself up. Do all that you need to. If I'm not satisfied, then I'll push you back to Neil's side. Fifteen minutes later. Mr. Luo, I'm done washing. Come here. Mr. Luo. Do you like men? Get on the bed. Do you like it?
This little thing isn't too bad, I can raise it for a while. Can you walk? I think I can. There are clothes in the wardrobe, put them on yourself. Mr. Luo, it seems I can't walk. I, I didn't do it on purpose. Forget it. Just obediently stay here. I'll listen to whatever Mr. Luo says. Is Mr. Luo leaving now? Don't ask questions you shouldn't ask. Then what about me? I'll have someone pick up you soon. Okay. Be good and stay here. Currently studying at Ping University's Chinese department, his father died early on, his mother developed a gambling addiction a few years ago. His background is very clean. Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo, preparations for tonight's dinner party are ready. Also, where did you want to take that one from the white nest? To my home. Having a little guy to warm the bed is real nice. Understood. Also, Al played all night long and still hasn't woken up yet. Al has a problem, watch him closer. Luo use mansion. Mr. Luo. What are you staring for? You still can't walk. Go to my room. I'm coming. Massage me. Ah. Uh. Massage. Mr. Luo, can you lend me your phone for a moment? I want to search up some tutorials. What do you mean search? Just press down wherever. He died. This little thing. Although, I never allow others to sleep in the same bed as me. Here's your reward. This little thing. You're awake. Last night's massage. I actually fell asleep in the middle of it. He, he's not angry, is he? Good morning, Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo. What? What should I wear? Someone will take care of it. That little thing inside my room. Prepare some clothes for him, don't let him run away. Understood. Also, don't let him get cold or go hungry. Mr. Luo. There's news from Jin Ting's side. Say it. Three days from now, Wan Zhen will be expanding to overseas markets. I see. Wan Zheng. Mr. Luo. Is something the matter? I, I wanted to ask something of you. You already dare ask me to do things for you? Say it. I, I want, to read some books. Books? Yes. Even though I've deferred my studies, I still need to write my graduation thesis. You sure are a good student. Create a list of books. What should I drink? What are you doing? Ah! Mr. Luo. I just wanted to drink some milk. From now on, there's no need to sneak around in the dark. Okay. Would Mr. Luo like to drink some milk? Give me a glass. He sure isn't shy with strangers, he's even gotten the milk pot out to boil some for me. Five minutes later. Give it a taste. Drinking a glass of hot milk at night is more comfortable than drinking wine. A home should have the appearance of a home. Mr. Luo, would you like more? I can boil some more for you. No need. You should wipe your mouth clean. Oh, does Mr. Luo have OCD? There's paper towels on the table. All right, thank you Mr. Luo. Once you're done, come with me. Ha! Huh. To where? Mr. Luo, I shouldn't. 
to warm my bed. Su Jiawen couldn't warm the bed. But he's still pretty helpful for sleeping. Half a month later. This little thing is pretty fond of studying. Ahem. Mr. Luo. Do you want to accompany me to take a walk outside? Yes, I do. I'll go change my clothes first. Okay. Abel, don't bark. Abel didn't scare him. You have a little puppy. He's calling a presa canario a puppy? I think there's something not quite right about that. Sit. Abel listened to him. Mr. Luo may not believe this, but I get along well with all kinds of animals. Indeed. Let's go back. Mr. Luo. Then can I keep coming here in the future to see Abel? It depends on how you behave tonight. Mr. Luo, then I'll leave now. Sleep here from now on. Mr. Luo, I saw there were horses in the mountain out back. Do you want a ride? Mr. Luo, I. The next day. An investor of the White Nest, Shen Qin, has come to pay a visit to Luo Yu. Mr. Shen, hello. Hey. You are? Mr. Shen, my name is Su Jiawen. Please come in. Luo Yu didn't tell me he had been raising a person recently. What is this person's identity? Where's Luo Yu? Mr. Luo is upstairs working in his office. How interesting. What kind of relationship do you and Luo Yu have? I. You too. What were you chatting about? We still hadn't begun chatting yet. That's right, where did you find this little darling? Dug him out of your white nest. If Su Jiawen hadn't bumped into me, you might have been the one doing him tonight. Once I'm tired of playing with him, I'll send him back to you. I'm just scaring you, once I'm tired of playing with you, I'll send you back to Ping University to go back to your studies. A place like the white nest, if you go today, you might be dead by tomorrow. Are you going to the racetracks? Of course. Hey! Am I cool? Jiawen, which one do you want? This one. Do you know how to get on? This little thing, he picked Li Shi, the one with the fiercest temper. Let's see how you handle this. Let me try. Has Li Shi gone mad? Why is he so docile today? I can't. Take a few steps back. I'll pull you, get on. Little thing, do you want to do something special? Mr. Luo, right here and now, isn't very good. What are you thinking? I'm just teaching you how to ride a horse. Or could it be, you're waiting for me to do something special to you? I didn't. I'm not. Fifteen minutes later. Can you do it yourself? No problem. You're finally done your work, want to run a lap? Luo Yu, you're lacking in morals. Hey, Jiawen, you also made it. Hello Mr. Shen, how is Mr. Luo? I don't know, but Li Shi really seems to like you. He he, him and I are fated. Is that so? Jawan, how about we have a competition? Competing what? We'll race to the purple flag on top of the mountain over there, whoever arrives first wins. Oh, what are we betting? I don't dare say it now, let's first compete. How about it? All right. Damn, why is it another guy lacking in morals?
his gaze. Mr. Luo, I threw off Mr. Shinwei behind. It must have been this angel that caused me to miss see thing. Let's return. All right. I told you before last time, I bought a new yacht, and planned for my friends to go out to sea to fish, we'll be heading out to sea tomorrow. I know. That's right, when we go out tomorrow, which partner will you bring? If I don't bring Su Jiawen, are you going to say you'll bring him? You really understand me. It's not your time yet, I'll bring him. He's quite timid, don't bring anyone that would scare him. Oh my, I didn't think you'd also be protective towards beauties every once in a while. Li Qing said, that around this time, is also going out to sea. Ruan Zheng, it's best if I bump into you. Inside the living room of Luo Yu's villa. What are you looking at? Animal farm. Don't read such rebellious material in your free time. Has Mr. Luo read it before? It's not like I'm illiterate. Jiawen, will you be bored staying at home? I won't. I'll take you out to sea tomorrow. Shen Qin will also be going. Out to sea. Do you want to go? I do, it's been so long since I went out, how many days will we be there? Two days, what of it? Oh, if we go too long, I'm afraid Abel won't recognize me anymore. As things are now. I think Abel will soon not recognize me as his master anymore. That's right, what will we be doing at sea? Should I prepare anything? You only thought about asking now? You don't need to prepare anything, you'll know once you go. The next day. Luo Yu's private dock. Shen Qin, who do you owe money to? It's too ugly. Haha, <laughs> I just wanted to say, that style of yours, it's like you're learning from Ruan Zheng. Ruan Zheng? He actually has that much taste? Ruan Zheng bought a beach club a while ago, and sprayed the word Ruan at the top of his boat. But he sprayed it, in white ink on top of the black background, so it's a bit more fashionable than you. Ruan Ning's yacht is eye-catching. But no one's seen the man himself appear on his yacht before. That's enough, stop talking about it. It doesn't matter if you love it or not, I'll be going on first. Chief Luo, please board first. Please, Do you want Chief to go out Luo. to take a look? I won't go out, I'm a little seasick. Jawan, you don't get dizzy on leisure, but you get seasick? Sitting here isn't that bad either, it saves us from being exposed to the air around those chattering prostitutes. Is there any need for you to be so protective of your children? Chief Luo. Speak of the devil. We crossed paths with Ruan Zheng's boat. Chief Luo, should we go give him a good blast? Give him what, don't be so disgusting. You don't want to take a look at your little enemy's boat? Where's the Ruan sprayed? I said it before, on the top of the boat. Spraying it on the top of the boat is too soft, Wan Zhang still isn't a man. Who knows if Wan Zhang is on the boat or not? How about it, should we drive over there, pull him off of there and beat him up once? Think rationally, perhaps Wan Zhang's boat is covered in spies waiting to ambush you. That is true. His boat has already left, we should also leave. Chief Luo, can we talk in private? Um. Why are you no longer seasick out here? It's stuffy inside. You're just stuck to Luo Yu's side. Luo Yu's in the middle of serious work, what are you going to do? Is something worrying you? Why am I asking him this? He's just the companion Luo you brought, it's not as if I'll cross paths with him in the future. Yeah. How about, you tell me instead? How long does Mr. Luo keep the people he raises? You've lasted the longest. One month. If Luo you won't raise you, you can come find me. 
I'm usually not interested in people my friends have used before. Ha, huh, who let this little guy be so agreeable? They're done discussing their matters. Come on, let's go over there. Put away your little thing properly now. Shen Qin didn't do anything to you? No. What could I have done to him? Humph. You were saying? Ah ha ha ha. Chief Luo, people should be magnanimous, don't take offense. Chief Luo. Sorry for what happened during the day, I have a little gift for you. It's in the cabinet by your bed, hope you have fun with it. It really is an interesting new toy. It really suits Jiawen. Mr. Luo, I finished washing. Jiawen, come here. Open it and take a look. Put it on and let me see. Put it on. Mr. Luo, I'm ready. Shen Qin was the one to prepare this tale, he must have really wanted to see you wear it. You even dare take Shen Qin's business card? Isn't there anything you want to say? Su Jiawen, you shouldn't be that kind of common thing. He said. If you send me away, I can go find him. Hmm. Why aren't you saying anything else? Go find him to do what? If I go with him, I can still see you. So that's what he was thinking. Jiawen, what do you think of me? Mr. Luo is very good. How am I good? Mr. Luo took me away from that place, gave me food and clothes, and is very good to me. My dad once said, being a good person is all about recognizing when favor is given and repaying kindness. This little thing, I won't bicker with you about the business card anymore. So how are you going to repay me? I'll first thank Mr. Luo. Is this your thanks? You can't even kiss on the lips? I'm afraid Mr. Luo won't like it. Even if everyone else gets close to me for their own reasons, Su Jiawen shouldn't be like that. He's just touching me the suitable amount, and also has a suitable appearance, with a suitable personality. He likes me, without care for power or money. I just wasn't used to it before. So now. Jiawen, you've been improving a lot lately. Thank you Mr. Luo. Let me see, if your other place has improved. Open up a little more. While I'm in a good mood, you can bring up any requests you have. Then, can I take that out? That? It's a little uncomfortable. Is it? If I pat it, it won't be uncomfortable anymore. Ah, uh, what are you doing? Fight poison with poison. What a strong smell, is Su Jiawen still alive? He's still asleep. Once he's awake, come and eat. We're playing cards in the afternoon, it's very safe and confidential. Is it really late? Not late, you can sleep. Not sleeping. Are you going out? In the afternoon, I'll bring you. Let's eat first. I'll have people bring you something here. You help me feel the cards this round. Okay. All in. I'll join in. What kind of dumb luck is this? Not bad, continue feeling them. The second round. Full house. I can't beat that. The third round. Another full house. Is Su Jiawen cheating? Not good, if this continues, I won't play anymore. Chief Luo, why don't you lend me that one by your side to use? Mr. Zhou is calling for you. Go sit over there. If that toy is used on Su Jawan, he must be feeling really good. 
I'm opening. A straight flush. You really are a treasure. I'll reward you. For you. What will you do for me? Mr. Luo, we found a picture of Ruan Zheng. Following your orders, Mr. Xing is waiting for you in your study. Stay here by yourself for a while. Okay. Fortunately I happened to bump into Jiawen and brought him home with me. Otherwise, with his pure and soft personality, being left at a place like the white nest which eats people's bones whole, he would have entered a morgue a long time ago. Hello Mr. Luo. Three months ago, Ruan Zheng appeared in Laos. There was an infor manned from the Ping City Police at that gathering place. This photo of Ruan Zheng was taken by that informant. How was this confirmed to be Ruan Zheng? This person is Zhen Ting's Jiang Qi. The police informant heard Jiang Qi call him Asian. There's no image from the front. What can you tell from just the back? The informant said were it not for them being less vigilant since they were out of the country, and Jiang Qi calling Wan Zheng's name, he wouldn't have realized this person was Wan Zheng at all. The informant also didn't pay attention to what Wan Zheng looked like initially. Once he realized, he only had time to secretly take one photo of his back, and then he was escorted out. Laos, is Ruan Zheng intending to touch contrabands? Ruan Zheng and I have never touched those things before. But He Yonggui's territory commonly has those dirty toys. Perhaps not. Have people pay closer attention to He Yonggui and Zhen Ting? I think there are some people who are too greedy and will be harmed by their own avarice. Understood. Do I have any special plans tonight? There is a charity banquet tonight, Hai Xing's Chief Lin is hosting it. Su Jiawen has been shut up at home for so long, and has only gone out to see once. Inform Lu Yi to take Su Jiawen out to buy new clothes and clean up. He'll accompany to the banquet tonight. Yes, Mr. Luo. Abel, don't run. Abel. Abel, let's wash you clean, okay? Be good, it'll be over. This Su Jiawen looks pretty pure, but why do I always sense something strange? Please wait a moment, Mr. Lu. I'll finish washing Abel. All right. Mr. Luo, we're currently stuck in traffic. We may not make it on time. Lu Yi didn't get ready on time? No. It's because I gave Abel a bath in the afternoon, and I was too slow. It's my fault, please be magnanimous. Do not let it happen again. Once you arrive, don't come in. Once dinner is over, I'll come out and pick you up. Mr. Zhang, here is your spot. Mr. Luo, what a coincidence. It sure is. It's Chief Jiang, did your Mr. Wan not come? It's so difficult to invite Mr. Wan, when will he come out and show us his face? A Zheng has been busy lately with his love life. Love? With which little mistress? I would also like to meet Wan Zheng, there are many things I would like to ask him. You'll get the chance, there's plenty of time for that in the future. I was just probing, but he actually answered. After dinner. Mr. Luo. Have you eaten dinner? Louis took me to go eat. What did you eat? Just some normal Cantonese food. Did you get a haircut? The feeling isn't bad, who helped you trim it? A person called Paul, Louis found them. Hello Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo, you've arrived! If you see anything you like, tell me. This watch isn't bad, it suits you. Won't it be too expensive? 
Do I look like someone who lacks money? Not at all. Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo, this one is very pretty, it fits the dining table back home. Not bad, it does indeed fit the dining table's style. Do you like the current decoration style at home? I think it's very good looking. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The auction will begin now. Please have a look at the first auction item. It is a jadeite pendant named Mountain Stream and Bird Cries in Spring. Mr. Luo, how much do you think that jade pendant will be auctioned for? What do you think? 400,000. No, it should be over 500,000. But it might not be 600,000 either. A little child who has never seen the marketplace before. No wonder he's so amusing. The next auction item is a silver cloisonne enamel vase. Its starting price is 100,000. Please name your price. Mr. Luo. Don't worry, let others say their price first. 300,000, going once. 300,000, going twice. 400,000. 400,000, going once. 500,000. Fighting with me? 600,000. So expensive, how about we give up on it? 700,000. Mr. Luo, you can stop. You can find a vase like that in any antique store. 800,000. 1 million. 1. 1 million? Huan and Technology and Jinting Investments really do have a bad relationship. The world of rich people, I just don't understand. I'll concede a defeat. Humph, he's just an idiot with money. Mr. Luo currently has something to do, he asked me to show you around. All right, then I'll be troubling you. It's been a month already, I still haven't written my thesis. I have your department head's phone number. If there's anything you would like to ask, I can help you ask. When I went to Ping University to request a break for Su Jiawen, I saw his grades. His academic history was very good, and he was also well liked by his teachers. Can you? Thank you so much. But, will Mr. Luo be unhappy if he knows? He shouldn't be. Then I'll think about it. Jiang Chi. It's fine. You were looking for me. You don't remember me anymore. Can I talk to him alone for a while? Not very suitable. Letting you two talk is an accomplishment already. Why are you together with Luo Yu? Mr. Jiang has no need to worry too much about these matters. I'm gifting this to you. Is Luo Yu good to you? Ha! Huh. I can't accept it. Please take it back. You were the one who originally bided it for it, I heard you say you liked it. Thank you, but it's unneeded, it's too expensive. This thing actually isn't worth very much, but Luo Yu's shouting made it expensive. If you don't want it, then I'll take care of it for you. I won't bother you for today, let's meet again another day. You're familiar with him? I'm not. Mr. Luo's work is finished, bring Su Jiawen back to the main hall immediately. All right, we will be there soon. Mr. Luo is waiting for us in the main hall, let's quickly head over. Okay. Mr. Luo. Where did you go? To the balcony. I'll buy an even prettier vase for you next time. Ah, there's no need. Why is there no need? That, a vase is just a decoration, it doesn't really matter if you have or don't have one. If you have the money, you can buy one, if you don't then you can also just get any other furnishings. Why is he so bothered by it? Let's go back. Mr. Luo, I originally bid for a piece of land in the capital, but my advance payment was declined. Can you help me ask what's going on? You asked me to help you investigate that piece of land in the capital, I found it. Talk. That piece of land was already decided behind close doors. 
and it's by someone you know, Jiang Qi. Understood, continue investigating what Jiang Qi is doing behind the scenes, I'll treat you to wine next time. Zheng Ting has mainly been growing in Ping City and outside the country, they haven't stuck their hand in the inland. Firstly, because water is deep in the inland, you can't enter without a background in it. And secondly, because they hate those who trade weapons to make quick money, and don't follow the correct way. Now Jiang Qi has suddenly gone to the capital to bid for land, and has made some relationships there, will have to be on guard for that. Make a record of all investments Zheng Ting has made this year, and give it to me. Understood, Mr. Luo. You can step down now. Yes, Mr. Luo. This little thing is sleeping well. You're asleep, yet you're still trembling so much. Su Jiawen is like a home that even though this house is on the verge of collapse and can hardly bear anything else, when I lie down by your side, my heart is at ease. It's not bad at all. Good night. Right, did you guys bump into Jiang Qi on the balcony today? I saw him walk in that direction. We did meet him. He was looking for Su Jiawen. Why was he looking for Su Jiawen? Jiang Qi was holding the vase he just won in the auction and said he wanted to give it to Su Jiawen. It seems he knows Su Jiawen, but Su Jiawen doesn't know him. How do you know Su Jiawen doesn't know him? Su Jiawen appeared very surprised, it didn't seem fake. I understand. Brother Xing, do you think Mr. Luo will do something to Su Jiawen? Take care of yourself instead. Chief Luo, it's me, Ziheo. Um, is something wrong? Do you have any free time soon to go out to sea again? Last time, I almost even lost my underpants, so I need a chance to win back what I lost. Wait until Shen Qin comes back to Ping City and then we'll talk. About that, Chief Luo, I heard you like riding horses, can we go together someday? Sure, is there anything else? There really is something else, but I'm a little too scared to say it. That morning. I want to buy that boy by Luo Yu's side, Su Jiawen, for 5 million. I wanted to ask young Master Zhou to help by being the middleman. Buying a person for 5 million isn't a problem, but Chief Luo hasn't experienced something like this before. And anyways, Chief Luo changes the people by his side very often. It's very possible he'll get tired with playing with that one soon, and will naturally let him go. If Chief Jiang fights Chief Luo for the person, he might not be willing to let go of him instead. No way. Su Jiawen is my teacher's child, and I owe a great debt to my teacher. I must save that child as fast as possible. Hower. Chief Jiang is my old friend, we must help him with this matter. Give Chief Luo a call now, and tell him about it. Okay, fine then. Chief Luo, what I want to ask about is. That boy you brought with you last time, is he still with you? What about it? Jiang Qi is offering 5 million to buy Su Jiawen. 5 million? Isn't Jiang Qi being a little too cheap? Jiang Qi really is determined to pay back all favors. Three days ago. Inside Luo Yu's office. I heard Lu Yi say Jiang Qi took the initiative to give Su Jiawen that extremely expensive vase. Jiang Qi, Su Jiawen? I'm very familiar with Jiang Qi's origins. He is from Ping City and worked as a hired thug for the West Gangs before. Later on he suddenly disappeared from Ping City. Three years later, he returned to Ping City, and became an assistant for Zhen Ting, helping Wan Zheng by doing matters in person. And then? I immediately investigated Jiang Qi and Su Jiawen's relationship. I didn't imagine that there actually would be a relationship between the two. Su Jiawen's already passed away father was Jiang Qi's middle school director. There were many good rumors about him, so perhaps Jiang Qi really does feel indebted to him. 
Jiang Qi perhaps has seen Su Jiawen when he was young, and Su Jiawen's appearance hasn't changed greatly since then, so it wouldn't be hard to recognize him. It's just. Mr. Luo, isn't this just a little too coincidental? I understand. Lu Yi. Mr. Luo, what are your orders? Did Jiang Qi try to give the vase to Su Jiawen in front of you? Yes. Do you think Su Jiawen didn't recognize Jiang Qi? Yes, this is what happened that night. Mr. Su didn't seem like he recognized Jiang Qi. You can leave. Yes, Mr. Luo. Housekeeper Li, what is Su Jiawen doing right now? Mr. Su is reading some books. Mr. Luo, should I call Mr. Su here to this phone call? No need, don't disrupt him. Su Jiawen. He's such a simple person, and so weak he couldn't even kill a chicken. If he isn't walking the dog, he's reading books all day. He's been at my side for so long, if he really had some bad intentions towards me, he would have acted on them already. There isn't any point in suspecting Su Jiawen. It's impossible for him to try anything towards me. Mr. Luo has returned. For you. I usually don't buy gifts for others personally. Now that I'm doing this, it really is strange. For me. They're so pretty, I just don't know where to place them. Then. I don't know if the medicine kit has any aspirin. Why do you want aspirin? Aspirin dissolved in water can help extend the lifespan of flowers. I'll go get a vase first. First put the flowers down, then look for it. No. I want to hold them forever. As you wish. Which vase should I choose? Mr. Luo, which vase do you think looks the best? First eat dinner. This little thing, he worries over so many things over just getting some flowers. Okay. That day, Jiang Qi wanted to gift you that vase, why didn't you accept it? I thought it wasn't a good thing to do. Why wasn't it good? I can't explain it, he just looked really scary. If something like that happens again, just summon your courage and accept it. Jiang Qi has such a burly appearance, he does indeed look like he's a part of a crime syndicate. Okay. Jiang Qi went to me today, and offered 5 million to buy you. Really? Wang Zheng must not be very good to him, so poor and cheap. Mr. Luo. Then your decision was. What do you think? I didn't agree. This little guy can't stand the scare. Eat your dinner. Okay. Jiawen, what's that smell? Is there a smell? I don't smell anything. Did you burn some milk? I didn't. Mr. Luo. Milk has a smell once it's burnt, are you going to keep playing dumb? I was wrong. Why are you drinking milk? Adults should drink something with alcohol. The way this little thing looks at me. I have to admit, it's very enjoyable. Jiawen, are you willing to go with Jiang Qi? No. Why not? Didn't you accept Shen Qin's business card? I don't want to go with Shen Qin either. Why not? Because I like you. What part of me do you like? I... I like you. How much do you like me? You can do anything you want to me. What if I have you go accompany Jiang Qi? I didn't think I'd actually feel relieved. I was clearly the one who brought up the question, but I also don't really want to hear the answer. This little thing. This is the first time I've taken the initiative to bring someone back to my room to sleep. Jiawen, what are you looking at? Mr. Luo, the edge of a petal looks kind of dried up, I'm thinking about what I should do. The aspirin don't seem to be working. If it's dried up, 
I'll buy you another bundle. Then Mr. Luo, if I leave in the future, can the flower vase stay here? You want to seek shelter from Jiang Qi now? How could you just randomly throw away other people's flowers? You still have a temper. I wouldn't dare. I've discovered who Jiang Qi's supporter in the capital is, it's a new department head that just took office. How did they meet? My old man says no one knows how they met. You should have your dad go ask what the situation is too. Got it. If there's nothing else, I'm hanging up. Don't hang up. That, Su Jiawen. You're still not tired of playing with him yet? I heard Jiang Qi wanted to use 5 mil lion to buy Su Jiawen? You sure do hear the news quickly. Mr. Luo, there's a problem at Qingsen Pier. What happened? Qingsen Pier is right next to the docks, and is also next to our company's biochemistry lab, and stores sensitive Informa, Tian. Nothing can happen to it. There was a container inside that caught fire. That container was originally holding things that Al sent over. Al? Mr. Luo, let's not talk business today. I have a gift to give you, you must accept it. Deference is no substitute for obedience. Mr. Luo really is a refreshing person. The gift will reach your port very soon, I hope you will like it. Al, I'll just wait and see what ideas you have. Go to Qingsen Pier. Was this also Wan Zheng's doing? Mr. Luo, he said. Qingsen's container wasn't burned by Jinting, he wants to call you. Oh, things all seem to be happening together. Hello, Mr. Luo. I am Jin Ting's Jiang Qi. Actually, I have a personal matter I wanted to talk to you about. About the matter of Jiawen, have you thought about it some more? I won't. If you let Jiawen go, I guarantee that Jin Ting will not touch your company's business in the future. Oh, and who are you? Has Jin Ting changed their last name to Jiang? Since I said this, A Zheng has naturally agreed to it. I can also give you information regarding Al. No need, thank you. You hung up on me. Was it for Su Jiawen? I have actual matters. It'd be better for you to sell Jiawen to me. You don't think he's dirty? It's just sleeping around, it's not as if we're talking about taking a wife. It still wouldn't be your turn for him. Those dirty thoughts Shen Qin has towards Jiawen really are irritating. Jiang Qi wants to swap information about Al for Jiawen. And you're willing? Luo Yu has always hated being threatened. If he wanted something, he would steal it in broad daylight, and would never accept an exchange. It seemed like he sighed just now, so he really has gotten tired of Jiawen, and is now randomly bringing in another party to make use of his leftovers. It seemed like he sighed just now, so he really has gotten tired of Jiawen, and is now randomly bringing in another party to make use of his leftovers. It's just a toy, what's there to not be willing about? Am I supposed to sink into the river of love with him? If you still have a use then forget it. The laboratory wasn't impacted, but the ashes of the container after it had been burnt up smelled a little strange. I've already sent it to be investigated. Get rid of the paint on that boat. That boat is. Are you stupid? I understand. Yes, Mr. Luo. Also move that palm tree up there away. You can move it to the garden back home. All right. I'll return first. I'm leaving you in charge of cleaning up this place. What is it? This is a cake I personally made, try it. He can even burn milk, is this cake edible? Try it, it's freshly baked. Mr. Luo, how is it? It's too nasty. I'm going to rinse my mouth. I think it's pretty tasty. Do you think this place is your own home? Mr. Luo. Or do you think I'm your boyfriend? I'm not. 
Jiawen, you really like me, isn't that right? Yes. So what if I admit it? It's not as if he likes me. Jiawen really is good, he's much more docile than able. Do you have any manners? Is it really not good? It's not. Then I won't bother Mr. Luo, I'll be leaving first. This little thing. Mr. Luo, Jiang Qi just went to find me again. He said the price can still be negotiated, as long as Su Jiawen is still in good condition. In good condition? You negotiate for me, have Jiang Qi properly reconsider the price. Understood, Mr. Luo. Jiawen. Why don't you change your major to cooking? I was just taking a look, I can't learn it anyways. Does Mr. Luo want to do it? Jiawen. Mr. Luo. Previously Shen Qin went to me asking for you, now Jiang Qi wants to buy you. Be more gentle. You're mine. Mr. Luo. Jiawen, he seems close to entering my heart. No, that's not possible. Once you're finished resting, go downstairs to sleep. Ah, okay. I'll go downstairs. I'm really going down now. Good morning, Mr. Xing Abel. Don't bark. Mr. Xing, can I ask you a question? Does Mr. Luo want to send me away? I'm not very sure. Tao Omicron Jiang Qi. I really don't know. Oh? Abel, let's return. One week later. I'll take you out for dinner tonight. To where? Su Jiawen has only lived downstairs for a few days, why do I feel like we've been separate for a very long time? It must be because I've been too tired lately, I'm misperceiving things. Someone will pick you up. It's better if I don't look. Where are we going? To Jiandao restaurant. It's through an undersea tunnel, on the shore of an island. I know where it is, I've been there before. You've been to Jiandao? Su Jiawen is a poor student, how would he have any relation to a high-class restaurant like Jiandao? My class organized a spring break outing once to that island, I saw Jiandao restaurant from the outside. I see. I heard you've been making cakes lately. I made one once, Mr. Luo said it wasn't good, so I didn't make it again. This child doesn't go three sentences without bringing up Mr. Luo, it's just. The top floor. Yes, is something wrong? No, I just thought of some things. Mr. Luo. Is it rare for someone to reserve the entire top floor of the restaurant? I've never seen it before, it really does have a rich and imposing feeling. It is uncommon, but many years ago, there was one customer who reserved it. I only know of that one time. Really? Was it a marriage proposal? Not a marriage proposal. That customer reserved the entire floor, it seemed like he was waiting for someone. He waited the entire night, but the person he was waiting for never came. An entire night? He reserved the entire floor, so the restaurant couldn't just drive him away. For how long the customer waited inside, we stood outside as well. He left the morning of the next day. Unfortunately, I was too sleepy at that time, and didn't see what he looked like clearly. He must not have been very attractive. The people who saw him said he was attractive. Su Jiawen. 
If someone reserved an entire floor for me at a place like this, even if he didn't have a Tiffany ring, I'd still marry him. Jiawen, what are you thinking about? Mr. Luo is suddenly being so nice to me, I'm not very used to it. Jiawen, do you want to return to school? I do. I had someone contact your school before. As long as you hand in your thesis and attend your exams, they won't count this period as you deferring your studies. Then I can return to school? Not yet. First go stay at Jiang Qi's place. He said he would let you return to school. In fact, he contacted the school for you. Yes. Why are you crying? I obviously don't love him, why do I seem to be out of breath when I watch him cry? Okay, don't cry. Well, let's go home first. Mr. Luo, can I sleep upstairs today? Come up. The next day. I still gave him to Jiang Qi and exchanged two clients and a piece of land. Is it because he secretly said that he wanted to send Su Jiawen away? Or is it Jiang Qi's repeated request? No, I just want to prove that. Su Jiawen is nothing to me, at this time, he has already come to Jiang Qi's place. Li Cheng, I am going to Europe for the new year today and will be back in about two weeks. You can take care of the company's affairs first, especially at the pier. All right, Mr. Luo. I just dropped Mr. Su to Jinting's hotel. Oh. How is Su Jiawen? He's fine, not particularly upset. Mr. Luo, there is economy class over there, we should go to the right. Not particularly upset, Su Jiawen, did you just accept it? Two weeks later. Jiawen is studying here. Mr. Luo, it's really you. Why are you here? Of course there is something. The company donated a laboratory building to the school, and the groundbreaking ceremony is held this afternoon. You previously arranged for Vice President Lee to attend. I will go to the groundbreaking ceremony in the afternoon. That Su Jiawen rushed the last train to attend the school's final exam and handed in the thesis. I have to admit that Jiang Qi treats Su Jiawen not bad. Have you eaten? Not yet. Do you want to treat me to dinner? Okay then. What to eat? I don't know either. It depends on you. Did you come to find me? No, just passing by. Is Jiang Qi good to you? Very good. I am learning to cook recently. I cut veggies yesterday and hurted my hand. That. The instructor said that I'm a standard nerd, this calluses position is the same with the person hold a gun. You don't necessarily have calluses when holding a gun, and I don't have one either. Mr. Luo's hands are so smooth. Being touched by him is a bit of a reaction. Thank you Mr. Luo for inviting me to dinner. Do you know what's upstairs in the dining room? Bar? I asked someone to open a room for me, can you follow me upstairs? Sure. Mr. Luo, Itchy. Say, do you miss me? Do you miss me or not? Miss. You are screaming so loudly, if someone passes by, will they hear it? Really like me? Did he ask me this question again to make me humiliate myself? Is not it? Like, very like you. Back, back pain.
Mr. Luo. Be good. Mr. Luo, my phone. Go answer it. I gotta go home. Why, just go straight to school tomorrow. I just did it fonts, the night has just begun. No, I gotta go. Where do you live, I'll take you back. Well, I'll be right back, no need to pick me up, no need to, I can just take a taxi by myself. Do you live in Jiang Qi's house? Why do you live in Jiang Qi's house? Didn't you give me to him? Am I being abandoned? I forgot to ask little kid's number. I never imagined that one day I would be able to sit down and have a meal with Mr. Luo calmly. You're welcome. Why do you want? Does Mr. Luo know what Al gave you? The laboratory test results came out early, and the ashes in the container were tested for biochemical agents. After investigation, it turned out that the A.L bag had been dropped by someone and was a counterfeit. That container, it was a Zhang who set it on fire. I didn't know it at the time, so I said it wasn't from Zhenting's fire. You saw or Wan Zheng did it? He has been quite clever recently. I asked him why he burned your suitcase and he said it was for your own good. The poison in the container is highly volatile and highly toxic. If the fake owl had ulterior motives and left the poison open, it would be possible to cause a fatal accident when opening the container. Is that so? That's a real thank you. But how did Wan Zheng know? But to say he did it for my own good. Hum, only fools believe it. I can't say much. A Zheng has seen Al, and he has also seen A.L who came to Ping City this time. He only allowed me to say this much. Today, I use these information to exchange Jiawen with you, but a Zheng has already scolded me. Dare to mention Jiawen in front of me? Luo, Jiawen was with you yesterday? Yes. No wonder he got home late. Mr. Zhang's way of raising people is really unique. You have raised him to the point running to my bed. I'm not as stiff as you, and I pay attention to the flow of things. That's not easy. Su Jiawen cried yesterday and said he liked me. Maybe one day, he will cry in bed and say he likes me. A Zheng. Um, uh, okay. A Zheng asked me to say hello to you. Hope to say hello to Mr. Wan in person one day. A Zheng is in love for the first time, and he is very busy when he ISS deeply involved. Please understand Mr. Luo. Is that so? Jiang Qi is really good at taking nonsense, well then just believing it. But you know, it's a normal thing for men to go to bed. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to catch him. What's wrong with him, why did he tell me about Wan Zheng's personal life? Ah, what does it have to do with me? It's getting late, my company still has something to do, I will contact you later. This is Su Jiawen's phone number. Well, you go down first. Yes. Hi. It's me. What are you doing? Mr. Luo. Yes. I'm in the library, writing a dissertation. What about Mr. Luo? Working. That is, if only you ask me about private matters, I have the patience to answer. Oh. Then you are busy. I'm going out of town tomorrow. Okay. Nothing to say. What do you say? How many days is Mr. Luo going? Three days and two nights. I'll find you when I come back. Okay. Sending Su Jiawen away is the same as not sending him away. Didn't I just make an appointment? It was a good deal in business. Three days later. This trip to Laos, things were not going well. Well, the seller wanted to trap us, but fortunately Mr. Luo found a flaw. Doing business with Mr. Luo dares to be dishonest, were they really not afraid of death? Those people have already packed up. But when this happens, it will inevitably affect the mood. Bad luck, bad luck. Mr. Luo. How is your debate? How do you know? 
I paid to help you pass the course, just kidding, I asked Lu Yi to find out. Yes. What time do you finish class in the afternoon? I'll send someone to pick you up. Mr. Luo, I'm afraid not, I have access control recently, and Mr. Jiang told me to go home before 10 o'clock every night. Then go home before 10 o'clock. I have asked the cook to cook your favorite dishes. I'm going to call and ask Mr. Jiang. Okay. Just say I'll pick you up and take you back, and then send you back as is, so that your Mr. Jiang can rest assured. Three minutes later. Mr. Luo, Mr. Jiang agreed. Okay, I'll pick you up. Mr. Luo, I want to see Abel first. This brat. Abel. Long time no see. Does Abel miss me? Are you finished? Time is limited, you still have the mind to tease the dog, go to eat. Mr. Luo, isn't your relationship with Mr. Jiang very bad? Why are you asking this? Um, nothing. I should go home. You also call Jiang's house home? He told me to say so. Mr. Luo, don't be angry. You have to be careful. Why? I, yesterday, Mr. Jiang was on the phone in his study. I passed by, but his door was not closed, as if he was talking about country A, Laos and you. What did he say? Guns, poisons, I'm afraid he's going to kill you. It turned out that I was almost fooled when I went to Laos last time, you don't care about these. It's getting late, I'll take you back. Mr. Luo, I'm here, let's go down first. Car door, Mr. Luo. Jiawen, I have to leave you some presents. Mr. Luo, Mr. Jiang is still waiting. Just for him to see. Pink color really suits you. What are you afraid of? Mr. Luo. I'll take you to apologize to your Mr. Jiang. Sorry for the lateness. Mr. Jiang forgive me. A week later. Jiawen hasn't answered my phone for more than a week, which is very unusual. He has lost a lot of weight, why are his wrists so thin? What happened? You're sick. A little fever. Have you seen a doctor? Look, I am going to the school hospital to hang water. Jiang Chi treats you like this? When you are sick, you just go to the school hospital to see a doctor? It's okay, just a little cold. If nothing else, I'll go first. Going to hang water alone? Yes. I'm free anyway. I'll accompany you. Okay. Mr. Luo, it will take more than an hour. You should go first. Your handwriting is not bad. Thanks. When did Jiawen and I become so estranged? After one hour. Yes. Mr. Jiang is waiting for me outside. I can always take you out. What happened to Jiawen today? It seems that he is angry, and all kinds of stressful reactions are made only by instinct. Goodbye Mr. Luo. Goodbye. I always feel like this scene is like a farewell. Jiawen. Um? Shoelace. Su Jiawen slept with someone else. I have left these marks on him before, and now someone else has left them for me. He is very white, his ligaments were soft, and he could take any pose. He is like my secret collection, and like a beam of admiration hitting me from the corner of the stage. It is indeed a farewell, Su Jiawen is saying goodbye to his love. And I can't even save. 
I personally sent Su Jiawen to Jiang Qi. I'm afraid boss is really in love this time. Half a month later. Jiawen didn't go to school for half a month, and his mobile phone was not on the server completely lost contact. I thought I took advantage of everything, all of Su Jiawen's admiration and face. But as long as I think about it. What is that face thinking? Li Cheng, you go to communicate with Shen Ting now, and find a way to get Su Jiawen back. Yes, Mr. Luo. Three days later. Mr. Luo, Mr. Jiang has repeatedly refused my invitation, I'm afraid. Huh, I see, you go down. This Jiang Qi clearly wanted me to wait. Why is Mr. Luo free to find me? It was Mr. Jiang who was too difficult to make an appointment with. Not as difficult as Mr. Luo, I remember when I bought Su Jiawen with you, you ignored me for half a month. Didn't you get an appointment too? Mr. Jiang is now like this, which is too disrespectful to me. Mr. Luo, wait a moment. Jiawen is doing it with someone else, he sounds miserable. Because the person he likes is me. Mr. Luo. What happened? Clean it. Yes, Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo, I'm sorry this afternoon, and you know, I'm sorry. No problem. It's best if you don't mind. Do you have anything to do with me? Eh, I remembered that Mr. Luo wanted to invite me to dinner. I don't know when Mr. Jiang is free. Hold on, I'll check the itinerary with the secretary. Five minutes later. Mr. Luo, are you still there? Yes. Ah, uh, Mr. Luo has been waiting for so long and has been very busy recently. This is the first time I have suffered such cold treatment and humiliation. It was also the first time I fell in love with others, and when I saw the imprint of others on Jiawen's body, I felt like I was going to suffocate in pain. I'm free next Tuesday, so I'll invite Mr. Luo to dinner, and I'll send you the address in time. Luo Yu, do you count this, do it yourself? Qian, what's your name? The paint on the boat is gone, and so is the decorative tree in the boat. It must be that Luo Yu did it. My family thought spraying the name on the boat was too loud, so I repainted it. Zihao, you take everyone on board first. I'll make a call and I'll be there. Okay. What do you mean by uprooting my tree? What he said at that time was to give me the chips, he must really have wanted to give it to me. You're talking. Back to pay you two trees. I'm too lazy to compare with you. By the way, how about Su Jiawen? If the old one doesn't go to the new one, we'll charter a flight to our hotel in the U country next week. Are you going? Bai Chao recently came here, fresh, tenderer than Su Jiawen, myself. It's good to go to U country, but you don't need to prepare people. I'll take Su Jiawen. Su Jiawen. Didn't you give him to Jiang Qi? Hang up first, I'll contact you when the time comes. Mr. Luo, we've arrived. Jiang Qi must have done it on purpose, so he asked me to meet at the hotel where the vase auction was held. Anyway, I'm going to make an appointment with Su Jiawen. Regarding Su Jiawen, what did Mr. Jiang think about? Mr. Luo, I am a businessman. Jiawen is not bad. It is a pity that he is an untamed little white-eyed wolf. I spent a lot of money to get him to work to repay my favor, but I sold him in a flash. That day, Su Jiawen reminded me to be careful, Jiang Qi must have installed a bug on Su Jiawen's body and hurt it all. And Mr. Luo also knows, Su Jiawen had someone else in his heart, actually he was not as valuable as I thought. Do you really think I dare not touch you? Show your conditions. As for the ransom, just give me 10 times the price I bought him. Deal. If you saw Su Jiawen like this, 
you would definitely want to kill me. I'll take care and clean him up. Just let Su Jiao and be with me for two days. Okay, I'll pay you a 30% deposit first, and I'll pick him up in two days. Mr. Luo, thank you. Two days later. Mr. Luo, what's wrong? Why do I feel so annoyed? Is it cold? His hands are so cold. You are wearing too little. We'll be home soon, and I'll let the cook your favorite noodles. You look tired, do you want to sleep first? Thank you, Mr. Luo. Jiawen. Where are you going? I... Go upstairs to my room. Let's sleep. Yes. Put it on. Good night, Jiawen. Mr. Luo. Want me to sleep with you? Don't you feel dirty? Don't you feel dirty when you touch me? Why do you think so? I feel dirty. If it is dirty, wash it. Is the water temperature okay? Does it hurt you? All right. Jiawen is so obedient. It'll clean after a wash. Is that so? I'll lie down with you. Are you still willing to hug me? Jiawen. Willing, always willing. Mr. Luo, take a look. The mark Jiang Chi left on not only him, it was mine too, never knew that doing something like that could be so bitter. Now I know. Half a month later. Haven't been out of the country? Originally, I was going to exchange in the next semester of my junior year. It's okay, you country visa on arrival. Okay. Jiawen used to be an introvert, but now he is completely closed to himself. Even Abel doesn't like to slip away. He only answers one sentence after ten sentences with him. If it was someone else, I would have driven out long ago. But right now, I just can't do anything with him. You are finally here, and the flowers I have been waiting for you too. Don't behave in any way against Su Jiawen. Why does Su Jiawen look thinner and less happy than before? Wanna eat, I peel it for you? Okay. What's wrong, with him? You eat first, I'll wash my hands. Let's go, I'm going to wash my hands too. Take the initiative to peel tangerines. What's wrong with you today? What are you crazy about? Why do you suddenly look like a high school student? Tell me. Tell what? Like him? Su Jawan is indeed good, but not good enough to make Luo Yu happy. Yes. Where is Su Jawan so attractive to you? He's not like your little girlfriends and little boyfriends. Then tell me what's the difference? He likes me. Who doesn't like you who you've soaked in? Luo Yu's expression is indeed serious, not the kind of seriousness that I speak. Ahem, I really can't tell, your temper has changed for the better. That's fine. You country seaside. Mr. Luo, where are you taking me? Parachute. I will not go. Why not? I dare not jump. Don't be afraid, you have me. Mr. Luo, cannot jump? No. Open your eyes. Those lights. Breathe for me. Mr. Luo. Don't be afraid, we're going into the water. Su Jiawen. Mr. Luo. You will be Mr. Luo later. Mr. Luo. Mr. Luo, I will pick you up. 
you go first. Forget it, let's talk about it next time. The next day. Woke up. Mr. Luo. Not really scared. Get up and take you to play with real guns. All right, Mr. Luo. Real gun, ha. Huh? Relax, aim, three dots, one line, pull the trigger. Try it? Okay. I don't have this apprentice. I said I can't. Don't want to practice anymore. I thought when have calluses on your finger, you can shoot more accurately. I said it was because flipping the book. Really? If not? Practice again, and I'll go get you something. Five minutes later. Jiawen. You take this gun. Not like this, I'll teach you. Mr. Luo, what did you give me the gun for? Pull the trigger. The gun is given to you to protect yourself, so study hard. Mr. Luo, I will study hard. Mr. Luo. Tired of playing all day? Not tired. Is that what it's like to be on a honeymoon? Wanna know? Honeymoon is better. Give it a try. It turns out that Su Jiawen is different, not because he likes me. But because I like Su Jiawen, I feel that he is different from others. Three days later. Had so much fun, I really didn't want to leave. Then I will bring you here as often as you like. It's him. Help! Explosion! Are you okay? Come with me. He was stabbed by the blown glass, wait for me. They came for you. They, at exit number 3. Mr. Luo, hurry up. Here. What are you here for? Do you believe me when I say vacation? Don't be afraid. What did I do wrong, come all the way to show me this? Using a knife to kill people is also good. Don't. He's dead, let's go. Five minutes later. I just ran out of bullets. Do you still have some? There are many more. You. Do not move. Jiawen. What are you doing? Mr. Luo, are you too aggressive? Why does Su Jiawen feel different from before? Go. Can you still walk? Save ourselves first. He's definitely a good gunner. Hurry up he Yonggui's mercenary is coming. You take him to the car first. What about you? I will come later. You don't have to worry about him. He only had 18 bullets. If I hadn't been able to lift my legs, I would have gotten out of the car long ago. Five minutes later. How many people are there on the other side? Four. Seat belt. Troublesome. Want me to go to the back and do it for you? I, I do, okay. Annoying old man.
Can you still use the left hand? Take this. This was given to the boss by Luo Fong, and the boss himself only kept a submachine gun. He didn't keep the gun I gave. Can be used. Cylinder shot, right now. Damn. The left hand can't use force, and the car is so upside down, how can I aim? I come. This time, Mr. He has prepared well. Isn't the mercenary Hyongue looking for ready to fight in Switzerland? I have long known about Hyongue's little actions, but I didn't expect him to dare to take risks so close to Ping City. Hyongue has more than one team of mercenaries. As soon as I arrived in the country, I saw the whereabouts of the mercenary, so I asked someone to check and found that it was him. Unexpectedly, Xing Licheng was also investigating, but he hasn't contacted me since last night. My phone was hacked. I have dealt with it. When I helped you just now, I threw away your phone. I didn't notice it at the time. Boss is amazing. Where is Xing Liqing now? We will meet at the safe house in the city, he will come with two helicopters, and he will be there before 12 o'clock in the evening. Two, my, engine things? Um. His eyes are still so calm and focused, just like every time he reads a book, as if nothing has changed. Wan Zheng. It's me. Su Jiawen's answer was like a dull knife. Luo Yu's heart seemed to be stunned, so he couldn't breathe because of the pain. You sit first, I'll go by medicine. This concern, is it true or false? Ah Zheng, take the gun. Mr. Luo, you take it. Aren't you afraid I'll shoot you right now? Leg injuries should be treated immediately. My gunshot wound. Hum, I'll buy you a bandage. I don't like his cold eyes, I'll be right back. What does he mean? I have to eat dog food after finishing the game, what kind of a big rabbit am I? Is there anything you want to ask? You can ask me, but Ah Zheng won't necessarily say anything. Why? Ah Zheng has liked you very early. I don't know how he met you, but he likes you badly. The real Wan Zheng, what is it like? Ah Zheng's father was a Chinese local in Laos, and his mistress gave birth to all daughters, but he had only one son. Later, his father lost fertility, and Ah Zheng became the only real seedling. His father felt that Ah Zheng was too gentle. And he was very strict with him because he was afraid that he would not be able to control the scene. In his teens, Ah Zheng took a group of old soldiers and ruffians on the line of life and death. Later, when Ah Zheng got older, his father had an accident. And he came to Pingshir. Ah Zheng once made an appointment with you three years ago and waited for you upstairs in Jiandao all night, but you didn't come. I went against you later to get your attention. Three years ago, Jian Dao, waited for me. In addition, Su Jiawen actually does have this person, and his resume is true. Su Jiawen is a student who looks a lot like Ah Zheng, and his mother owes a lot of gambling debts. Ah Zheng saw Su Jiawen at Pingda University and felt very similar to himself. After sending someone to investigate, he asked Su Jiawen to meet and talk about some things. Talk about what? I don't know. Ah Zheng didn't tell me. But within a few days, someone took Su Jiawen to have plastic surgery, and the cosmetic surgery was almost exactly the same as Ah Zheng. Sometimes Su Jiawen and sometimes Ah Zheng go to Ping University. It is no wonder that the abnormality of Su Jiawen's identity could not be found. After a while, Ah Zheng got stuck on your destination for some reason, and sneaked into the white nest under the name of Su Jiawen. According to Ah Zheng's character, I guess he was going to drug you and then do it with you. But I didn't expect you to say that you want to cover him first. Ah Zheng told me that he originally wanted to sleep with you a few times, but after a few sleeps, he wanted and liked you, it's very unfair for you to do this to you. 
but he's such a person, unscrupulous and very sinister, I have no position to speak for him. But if you don't think about it, just depends on how you choose. In this case, I should have killed Ruan Zheng. But as long as I meet that face, I can't even say a heavy word. Mr. Luo. I bought the mineral water you like to drink. I'll help Achi wrap up first. They have a good relationship, and I'm like an outsider. Ah, Chi, go outside and stay for a while. Okay. These two, alas. Mr. Luo, I'm going to deal with your wound now. It turned out that Wan Zheng can smoke. I'll treat your wound first. If we go back to Pingxue smoothly today, if he is Su Jiawen, I will definitely take him to do everything he wants to do. The stars and the moon can only hang in front of him, as long as he is no longer unhappy. Anti-inflammatory medicine. Nothing to say. What does Mr. Luo want me to say? I didn't expect it to be this fast, but that's fine. Is that okay? I have to deal with it again when I go back. You have a fever. Oops, this door suddenly opened, not mine, if it wasn't for the fear that Ah Zheng would accidentally be shot to death by Luo Feng, I would be too lazy to come here. Mr. Luo. I can go. He still wants to see me, a hug. See you in Pingxue. Luo Yu's heart would still be led away by this person involuntarily. He couldn't tell whether the love for him was real or an illusion. He have to ask Wan Zheng, but Luo Yu didn't want to ask, he didn't dare. Wan Zheng, see you in Pingxue. Pingxue three days later. Father. Why do you greet guests outside in person? Leave this to me. I just received the news that Jin Ting suddenly said that Ruan Zheng was coming. That was Ruan Zheng, who was actually going to attend my banquet. Then our banquet, Luo Yu, Ruan Zheng, and He Yonggui will all be present, which is unprecedented. You go inside and see, don't look anywhere else. Yes. Mr. Wan. Long time no see. Hello Mr. Jiang. Ah Zheng, this is Mr. Wan. Hello, Mr. Wan. Hello Mr. Wan. Why does Wan Zheng look so small, is it fake? Mr. Wan, Mr. Jiang, please come inside. Xiao Qi. Your new favorite? This is Mr. Wan. Is that so? I thought you're the young master from Bai Chao. I originally wanted to pave the way for my son and hire someone to ambush Luo Yu, but I didn't expect that Luo Yu would not be good at strike and rest. But I am dying. I also arranged a retreat for my son, and now I have nothing to fear. Mr. He, how is your health recently? I'm fine, don't worry. Xiang Qi was originally mine. My subordinate, and later went to Ruan Xing's side. I have long seen Ruan Xing not pleasing to the eye. That's the best. Isn't that Mr. Luo? Mr. Wan won't go say hello? Jin Ting and Huan Yu have been at odds for a long time, so Wan Sheng's most not pleasing to the eye should be this Luo Yu. A good show is about to start. I'll go and say hello. Mr. Luo. He finally came. Jin Ting, Wan Zheng. Wan Zheng is such an image. I didn't recognize he was Su Jiao and Ah Zheng. Huan Yu, Luo Yu. Have a drink? Okay. Look over there. Not good, they are about to fight. Ah, uh, Luo Yu actually ran into Wan Zheng. Mr. Luo, Mr. Wan, what's going on here? Wang Lao. 
do you have a free room? I want to have a good chat with Mr. Wan. Yes, yes. Please follow me. Both please. Please go out. Ah, Chi, it's okay. What are you angry about? Are you willing to come out this time? I can't see Mr. Luo if I don't come out. Want to see me, then why not contact me for so long? Hanging me is fun. After returning to Ping City, Huan Zheng remained silent and did not come to me. Is a week long? Still alive? Yes. Don't bother me. I don't have your private number, can you give me one? Eh, then what do you give me? I'll do something special for Mr. Luo. Is it okay? Hee <laughs> hee. Stand up. Where's Mr. Luo's phone number? Suddenly I remembered that Mr. Luo said before that he wanted to buy me a vase, but he didn't. Didn't Jiang Qi buy it for you? But you didn't buy that. Keep your business card well. You wait a while and then come out. Let's pretend to fight. Are you okay? I got the number. The young couple, what am I worried about? The banquet is over. He young Gui is going to send his son away. With advanced lung cancer, he ran out of time. Look at his face today, I heard that there are two months left. Knowing this earlier, why spread the scene so big, he even dared to touch Luo Yi, no wonder he lost his life. You said, I and Luo Yi, is there any other way? You ask me. How could I know? Bystanders are more clear. Wasn't he being led by you yet? I don't know what did you two do today. I'll give Mr. Luo a call. Hello? Where is Mr. Luo? At home. Ready to sleep, I'm not home yet. Is Abel good these days? What exactly do you want to ask? Is Mr. Luo good? He can always easily disturb my heart. He picked up my phone. Are you an elementary school student? I asked you, that dog is very good, if you like it, come and take it. A token of love? Breakup gift. Then you keep it. Xing Licheng, did Wang Zheng date me three years ago? Three years ago? Zhen Ting had made an appointment, no, the signature was Wang Zheng. Why can't I remember? At that time, Zhen Ting held a banquet, and Mr. Luo wanted to go back to the capital, so I pushed it for you. Wang Zheng called and said that he would wait for you, I thought that he was just polite, so I didn't tell you. But it was Ruan Zheng who called by himself, so I remember it more clearly. You go and find out whether it was a banquet or a date three years ago. You had missed it, what's the point of pursuing it again? However, I would like to know more about Ruan Zheng. Half a month later. For half a month, Ruan Zheng didn't find me. Could it be that the breakup gift last time broke his heart? Mr. Luo, just received the news that he Yong Gui was admitted to the itch. What happened? Last month, Pingxue got a new chief, and I don't know if it was someone's instigation, he did something to show his power. The new chief shut down the most profitable place in the western capital and arrested he Yong Gui's right-hand man. He Yong Gui was also summoned for questioning. He was also sent to the hospital by a little detective who was not afraid of tigers. If he Yong Gui was alive and left the itch, he might still act. Let's talk about it when he comes out. Did you find out what you were asked to check last time? Which things? Three years ago. Zhen Ting's invitation was indeed a private date. It turned out that it was really a private date. It's true that he waited all night upstairs on the island. I also found that someone bought fireworks and put them on a man-made island on the other side of Mishima, but they didn't put them on in the end. Ruan Zhang's way of chasing people is old-fashioned and nothing new, 
as if he was coaxing high school girls. Not as good as my parachute and tens of thousands of lanterns. Don't go back to the company, go to the Sea Island Hotel. But no matter how dirty these things are I can't look for him anymore, and he doesn't exist anymore. There is no battle waiting for me in the dark, and there are no fireworks. Night. The memories of the last time I came here are not good. At that time, Su Jiawen's tears made my heart heavy. Looking back now, I don't know if Wan Zheng's tears were real or fake. Crying is kind of like that. It's raining heavily, can I come in to avoid the rain? Come in. How long have you been waiting? Did not wait. Just walked to you from the lobby. Good. What are you doing, Mr. Luo? I heard that someone waited for me here all night to see what the night view of the island looked like in the early morning. Not bad. Ah, uh, she got the information too fast. The ring has not been taken out yet, and it must be very embarrassing to be discovered by Ruan Zheng. What are you doing here again? I'm talking about acquisitions, live here. Just happened to see your car and came over to have a look. I only have one car, it is not surprising that Ruan Zhengyi recognizes it at AG, Ants. The top floor has a night view, and there are only green plants here. So? Didn't you see it? The last time you brought me here. Do you like Su Jiawen very much? What about you? Why do you like me? Many years ago, Mr. Luo and I had a meeting once. Oh? Then what? No then. Since Ruan Zheng doesn't want to talk about it, I won't force him, and there will be time to figure it could in the future. Mr. Luo, can you keep your clothes on? You can do it without taking it off, just do it in this position. Okay. I don't like this position, it's too deep. Every time I have to cry and beg him, he will change the position. Addicted to yourself? It's so wet and won't let me in. Go in. Ah, uh, don't. Isn't Mr. Wan very physically fit? Can I go down below? No. Can you get up? Yeah. Why don't you talk about it this time? No taste below. Stop teasing me. I'm going upstairs to sleep. Ruan Zheng, what's your trick this time? Mr. Luo, come up and have a seat. Okay. Mr. Luo, was it a parting gift just now? What did you say? I don't know, I just want your answer. Let's start with FWB first. So fast, so steady. Mr. Luo. Forget it. It turns out that Luo you just doesn't love me. Mr. Luo and I don't know each other well, so maybe you don't know. I don't like unclear relationships. It's getting late, Mr. Luo, please come back. Okay. Keep the gun away, don't lie to me in the future. A month later. It's been a long time since I came to Pingshir, any news recently? He Yongue died in the hospital, and his son took his property and went abroad. The Western gang was completely destroyed. Hum, the big three are only the big two. Luo Yu is about to deal with Wan Zhang. Not really. Jinting is still domineering, and has no restraint. In fact, they did it, it's just that you don't know what they're doing. By the way, where's Luo Yu? You haven't called him out yet? Of course I called him out. As a result, he said that he was not coming and wanted to go on a date. Luo Yu has completely fallen under Su Jiawen's suit pants. One more news. Ruan Zheng appeared at Wang Lingguang's dinner party. But since then, he has never been seen again. Ha! Huh? But I didn't go that day, so no one dared to secretly take pictures of Ruan Zheng. Otherwise Ping City would definitely have a close-up of Ruan Zheng now. Nothing fancy. He Yongwei said 
that he ran out of a white nest. And he was right. What's wrong with my white nest? Have you seen him? Why are you attacking my family's industry? I went that night. I also saw Luo Yu and Ruan Zheng staying alone in a room, arguing for more than an hour, and they got into a fight. Luo Yu came out. His fists were blue. Ruan Zheng was later helped out by Jiang Qi. Everyone said that Jin Ting is waiting for the opportunity. I think Luo Yu was just venting out his anger. Didn't you say last time that the quarrel was told by Ruan Zheng? He didn't want Jiang Qi to help him. He pushed Jiang Qi away and went out to the public, desperate to save face. This is true. Is it? I'll ask him. Fighting with people at a dinner party? I always feel that Luo Yu is not such an impulsive person. I heard you had a fight with Ruan Zhang at 111's dinner party? Who did you listen to? The whole city knows it. You and Su Jiawen going to see? Why did I just come out and see that your boats were all parked, you bought a new boat? Listening to the wind over there, Luo Yu should also be at sea. My baby. Did you buy a boat for Su Jiawen? What boat? Beach Club. Don't tell you, hang up. Too dangerous. I'll listen to you. Your reward. I still want more. When did Luo Yu buy Beach Club? No. There are three beach clubs in this continent, and only Ruanjiang has it in Ping City. Look. It's Beach Club. Ruanjiang's boat. I'm going to get a telescope. It is Ruanjiang's boat, and he is on the deck. Let me see. Lao Chi, are you blind? That's Su Jiawen. I can't be wrong. This. What is your expression? What did you see? Let me see. I want to see too. Excluding all possibilities, the remaining one is even more bizarre. Also the truth. Ahem, let's go fishing. Half a month later. Ah Zheng, this is a gift from Huan Yu. I see. Throw away the old vase, take this new vase home after get off work. Mr. Luo is such a cheapskate, he still remembers the auction. I have to go. Didn't you just come, why are you leaving again? But I am going home. He is waiting for me at home. Two people who are the most unsuitable for dating have taught each other to love each other, which is not easy. So. Only every second counts, go home immediately. Mom, you have been working hard on your research recently. This chef's craftsmanship is good, you can try it. This is, are you and Ruanjing really going to get married? When? Do you even know his name? I just told my father about my dispute with Ruanjing, I didn't expect him to talk to her in such detail. The wedding will not be done, it is not suitable. Won't you show me? Although I don't care much about the private life of my child I'm not interested, but my son is wearing a wedding ring, so I still have to meet his other half. How about it, you are busy too, let me ask him what arrangements for noon. If he has time, we can have lunch together. I will ask now. Ah uh, Zheng, are you free at noon? Okay, is something wrong? Let's have dinner together and meet my mother by the way. Available. You send me the address. Parents. I. Little child, did you go through the wrong door? Mom, this is Ruan Zheng. Mom. M, aunt. Just call mom. Luo you didn't say, and I didn't know you were coming. I just bought a little gift downstairs. You have a heart. Can you buy this anywhere in Ping City? A customer just went to get it, and I saw it and liked it, so he let it go to me. That guy is really nice. Spending more money or pointing a gun at someone? Interesting, I have never seen my son so obedient. Why are you so obedient all of a sudden? Does Shower One have your intimate photos in hand? You eat more vegetables. 
Shower Wan, have we met somewhere? Yes. When? When I was little, Auntie saved my life. Also bothered you to send my wallet to the school. It should be. Pretending doesn't care, but very curious. I'll go first if I have something to do, bye. See you later. Mom, how did you and Wanjing meet? Do you remember when we traveled to the border more than 10 years ago? A bit of an impression. You must not remember, you and Shen Qi went to a hunting ground to play for a few days. It was on those days that a little boy fell down near our log cabin during the summer. He had a lot of wounds on his body, I helped him simply deal with the wounds, took him to eat and take a bath. Seeing that he was about the same age as you, he was pitiful, so I gave him some money. After he left, I found my wallet was missing, didn't you say that the little boy stole it? Not long after we got home, a courier arrived at my school, it was my wallet with a piece of paper in it, saying that I accidentally misplaced it. By the way, there were pictures of you in my wallet, you were much more handsome when you were a teenager than you are now. Shower Wan was exactly the same as when he was a child, pure and innocent, and very cute. You say you, he he. Mom, I remember that I have something to do, I'll go first, you can walk around slowly. I am back. What about Auntie? She is in the hotel. You almost died in front of my mom when you were a kid? Mr. Luo, do you want me to tell you this secret? To give or not to give? Not give. Not here, itchy. I thought it was only here that it would itch. Hey, don't. Ah Zheng, I don't care about your past, I only want your future. The next day Wan Zheng's house. When I returned the wallet to auntie, I actually left a photo secretly. He hasn't changed at all over the years. Maybe all my luck in my life was spent on being rescued by auntie. Eight years age. That was the first time I took someone to the border for delivery, and the buyers were wicked. Seeing that I brought few people, I was also tender so they had evil thoughts and turned their face when they took the goods. In the end, only I survived. I found you fainted by the river and brought you back. Don't be afraid, it's very safe here. Thanks. Can I borrow a place to take a shower? Fortunately, my recovery ability is good, and I feel much better after training. The most important thing now is to go back with the diamond. This is my son clothes. It may be a little big, you can wear it. Thank you. Ten minutes later. I'll find someone to take you home. I can go back by myself. Take it and use it on the road. Then can you tell me your bank account number and I'll return the money to you when I get home. It would be so nice if my son was half as good as you. Really? He is a little bully at home, and everyone has to listen to him. Does his dad listen to him too? No one cannot listen to him. So... Auntie, goodbye. Goodbye. This kid is so pitiful, but it's beyond my control. Luo Yu. Don't you just rely on your horse being better than mine? I go to yours. Six Yuan for a pancake. Why did Auntie's wallet fall into my bag? If only he could see me. Now I get much more than what I wanted. Ah Zheng. Why are you here? This is my house. So you still remember. I thought you had taken root with Luo Yu. I thought you became interested in Luo Yu after you came to Pingxiu, but I didn't expect it to be earlier. What's the meaning? I remember. The second year after you first arrived in Pingxiu, Luo Yu and his family also moved here. I also caught you repeatedly looking at his profile. At the beginning, I thought you were trying to know yourself and the enemy, and be victorious in all battles. I didn't expect that you not only lasted for a long time, but also became more and more serious until that time, Ah Zheng, what are you doing? What do you think these people have in common? Are they all girly? 
they're all similar to me. If you say yourself girly, I don't seem to know the word girly. Help me send an invitation to Luoyu. I will sign. Okay. I know you waited for Luoyu all night. He didn't come. You tell me in a few days. Wuan Zheng may not. Luo Yu won't go to see Wuan Zheng, I can't get close to him in this identity. That's why Su Jiawen came into existence later. After all, we are destined. Ah Zheng, my mother hopes that you can go home with me to celebrate the new year. I'm afraid not. Why? In previous years, I spent the new year with Ah Chi, if I left, then Ah Chi would be alone. Jiang Chi is more than 30, you can let him go free. Even if you don't go home with me, you will live with me, Jiang Qi's turn. I'll discuss it with Ah Qi. Wang Zheng looks gentle and weak but actually has big ideas, I have never been able to change any of his decisions. If one day he no longer likes me, will you pack me up and throw me out the door? It's already 10 o'clock, still not coming back. I am back. Don't read these rebellious books. Why so late? I accompanied Ah Chi to see a baby, which belonged to his friend. Father's love overflowing? Just wondering if you should have a baby too. Auntie told me that Luo Yu's father hoped that he would have a child by his side sooner. If you can give birth, I want one. Why don't we try it? Huh? Will it work if you do it inside? I won't know until we try it. Luo Yu, you are really practical. Real knowledge comes from practice. Didn't do any foreplay. You're really in a hurry today. It's too kind of me to still have the strength to talk nonsense. Luo Yu, let's change positions. What to replace? Let me. You deliberately. Didn't you say try it yourself? Stay a little longer. Get out quickly. Don't tease me if you're so impatient. Is there any smoke? It's the first time I've seen such a fierce Ruan Zheng. Is there any? I asked Ah Chi, he said he celebrated the new year. Tired today? Ah Zheng seldom smokes in front of me, unless he is really tired, he will smoke a cigarette. I... What's wrong? I want to quit smoking. Good, by the way, my mother said that she wants to go to the island to celebrate the new year with her family, let's go together. I can, but... Will uncle dislike me? He doesn't like anyone. Really? What Jiang Qi said back then didn't mean that Ah Zheng sitting in my room was like my precious collection, it was just because he was willing to sit here. I never have the right to choose I am the most passive person in the whole world. Passively waiting for Eruan Zheng to love me paralyzing myself saying that Wan Zheng will never leave me. I like you enough. Wan Zheng, can you love me a little more? Can't do it anymore. Let's sleep. One week later you country. Shen Qihan also came here for vacation, he said that this newly opened rock climbing club is not bad, I bring you here to have fun. You two are here. I've been waiting for you two for half a day. Compete? It's boring to compete with you. How about Mr. Ruan? All right. Mr. Shen has not yet settled the account of the time he lost to me in the horse race. This time we can settle it together. Let's compete first. My rock climbing level is very high in the hands of amateurs, don't you think so? Let's start. Two minutes later. Damn! What a monster! Be careful. I'm only halfway up, and he's done? Ten minutes later. Willing to bet. 
What do you want? Let him give it to you. Don't bully people. Oh, after you return to Ping City, you can just transfer the equity of the hotel to me. Let's talk about the debt later. Why did you stop before? Adjust it a bit. Oh, really? This guy didn't like to wear safety locks when climbing rocks before. I found out by accident. After training all night, he realized his mistake. He almost lost his hand again today. Okay, we'll be there right away. My parents are here, my dad wants to see you. Shower one, and you saved your life, don't you have to give auntie a toast? Dad, let me toast for Ah Zheng. Ah Zheng can't drink well, so I can't let my dad invite him. What does it matter to you, I'm talking to Shower Wan. It's fine. Auntie, I respect you and thank you for your life-saving grace. Good, a meeting gift, for you. You can see it. I'll take a call and be right back. Sure. Ten minutes later. Can't drink anymore. You're messing with me today, aren't you? It turns out that Shower Wan really doesn't drink much. I ordered porridge for Shower Wan. I don't want to eat porridge, I want to sleep. You'll feel better after eating some porridge. I go first. Our son finally has a nemesis. It's good to have someone in charge. Forget it, I won't bother you today. Luo Yu, this is Wan Zhang and he will be your younger brother in the future. Where did my mother pick up this unknown kid? He's so sissy. It's completely useless at first sight. I won't talk to him. Why don't you bring your Wan Zhang to play together? Luo Yu, do you want to drink? I'll cook it for you. Today is your birthday? Yes. It's a bit too girly to drink milk at the age of 16. I have a feeling that Wan Zheng treats me differently from others. So can I not be girly anymore? Do not drink milk. Then I won't drink. Why are you so obedient? Because I like you. Luo Yu, because I love you. Where is Ah Zheng? Mr. Luo got up very early. Dreamed of you. What are you dreaming about? You were cute when you were 14. Really want to see. You did see it. When? You have forgotten, how can I tell you? I might remember it if you tell me. It was on the way back when Auntie picked me up, but you didn't look at me. At that time I knew that boy was looking at me, but I didn't look back. I remember you, you wore my clothes. You are so stingy, isn't it just a few old clothes? Am I for those two clothes? Then why? Let you also take a look. Then you, don't go in all of them, okay? You have, you have to watch me. I will only look at you from now on. You even know what fireworks I prepared on the opposite side of the Jian Island. This is the fireworks I prepared that night at Jian Island. Do you like it? I'll show it to you. Baby, make a New Year's wish. I have no wishes. Then I wish one. What do you want? I will hold it in front of your eyes. I hope you don't love me so much. Love yourself more. Can you? Can't do it anymore. Cousin, didn't you say Brother Yu is coming? Why can't I see him? Luo Yu's fan. What are you doing? Why come so late? I just picked Ruan Zheng up, he had a meeting. Cousin, I heard that Brother Yu is about to do something good, is it true? I don't know. Why ask so many questions? Brother Yu also brought a person over to play real-life CS Street fighting with us. Who? I'll know when the time comes, I find someone to arrange it first. 
half an hour later. The show is quite big. The person brought by brother you looks so weak and good looking, this appearance is definitely not the main wife. Why did brother you and Luan Zhang's deputy, Jiang Qi, get together? Ji Ping, you brother you is here, why are you in a daze? Hello brother you, Mr. Jiang, we are going to play real life CS Street Fighting, do you want to play with brother you and Mr. Jiang? I'm in. Do you want to play, baby? Okay. This kind of little canary is enough to encourage brother you, but I didn't expect brother you to let him join. Forget it, I hope that when the lottery is drawn, I won't be in the same team with him. There are eight of us, and we call two coaches, which happens to be 5v5. Let's draw lots first. Five minutes later. I'm really afraid that something will happen to me. The team is okay, let's change clothes. Half an hour later. How to call you? Just call me Shower One. Shower One. Really suits him very well. After a while, shoot when you see someone, just don't shoot your own people. Can you shoot? Or let Ron teach you? I know, Mr. Luo taught me. Boss, Boss is, is the, the best, best actor. actor. Shoot it for me for a look. Okay. Alright, let's go into the maze. Hey, Ji Ping, you are still too young to be cheated by Ruan Zhang. This maze has three floors and two teams enter the field from six entrances on the first, second, and third floors respectively. Only by annihilating all members of the opponent and occupying the opponent's camp can victory be considered. Xiao Ruan will follow me in from the third floor. Follow me for a while, don't shoot casually until the last moment, let alone shoot me. Okay. Suddenly, I understood why Brother Yu was fascinated by Xiao Ruan, this boy is really catchy when he smiles. There's someone over there, I hear voices. Why didn't I hear anything at all? It seems to be something over there. How do you know I'm behind? Feeling. The red team eliminates one person. Let's go downstairs, there is no one on the third floor. Really, you play often? Not bad. How could brother use little lover have such good skills? Never played, never played with lasers. I will go ahead. Come on you follow me. Okay. This little kid, the muscles on the back are harder than I thought, like habitually maintaining muscle tension. Obviously looks weak, but he always makes me feel dangerous and almost evil. Stop. What's wrong? I think Luo Yu is below, let's change places. He is soft on me. Okay. Brother Yu still treats others softly? Forget it, maybe the people next to his pillow have some preferential treatment. You're sure, right? Is that right? All bets can win big, why didn't you cheat in the draw? If you don't play with me, what else am I playing? And there is no team with Ah Chi. I always feel that the atmosphere between these two people is a bit strange, and I can't tell what's wrong. And brother Yu is so unassuming. Zi Hao said that by Eleven was killed by you. Xiao Ruan did it. He asked you to call him Xiao Ruan. Are you older than him? Are you Ruan, Ruan Jing? No wonder he just called Mr. Jiang. Ah Chi, the clown turned out to be me. Yeah, Ruan Jing didn't bully you, did he? No. Who else is on the second floor, Zhou Ziheo? Let's team up, baby. Should we kill him first? Is a group of three not good? Yeah. The voices are four people Qi Yi, Jiang Qi, Shen Qi Han, who else? Li Cheng. The blue team eliminated one person. I'll go and see, Jiang Qi and Shen Qi can't stand up to Li Cheng. Don't underestimate Ah Qi, you just stay calm. I'll go take a look first. Brother Yu, you two are not in that relationship, are you? Which relationships? Still playing. Achi seems to want to move to this side. 
Let's go downstairs and get rid of the downstairs first. Let's go. Mr. Wan wears this camouflage uniform, your waist is really thin. Baby, why are your ears red? Hot. How can you be so shy outside? I am, brother you, I'm still here. The green team eliminated one person. The two of us will just play one game, you go out to rest for a while, and then play in the next game. Let's team up, baby. First go and kill the person who is alone on the first floor. What's wrong with you? Take it easy. Why are you so nervous about playing games? Got used to. Give me the gun first. Obviously I a playing a game, but I felt that even if it was really a matter of life and death, he would give me the gun. Luo Yu, do you think you look like my bodyguard? I will remember it for you. Okay. Damn, it's so cute you want to put him in a cupboard and smuggle him home. Half an hour later. The two teamed up to eliminate the four of them, leaving only Shen Qi Han on the field. Fortunately, it's my own, not Luo Yu. Yeah. Have you met Luo Yu? You say? Give in is not good. Then no give in. One on two is also so rampant? Who is one on two? Can you please respect this game? The green team eliminated one person. Are you sick? There are only two of you left, how can you win in the end, rock, paper, scissors? Leave us alone, you go out. We're the only ones left, do you want to win? Give you a win today. It turned out that you wanted to make me unhappy. There is always a winner or loser when playing a game with a laser gun. Then hit me. All members of the green team are eliminated, and the red team wins. Damn. Are you mad at me? Yes, I'm mad at you. Baby, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were so serious about the game. When I think of Ruan Zheng with a gun stuck in his chin, I want to tear this place down. Don't test me anymore. I will pay more attention next time. Shun Qihan and the others went to barbecue. Just do it. Lick yourself. Okay. Pain? I'm fine. Slow down. You put me down. Are you still angry? No, I'm not mad anymore. Ruan Zheng, even if you really shoot me in the chest, I won't be angry. My life is here, and you can take it if you want it. I don't want. Keep it for you. Are you taking me to a barbecue? Let's go home. 